Technical interviews can be terrifying. I mean, think about it for a second. You're expected to solve a problem you've never seen before. You're being monitored on everything you say and do. If you make a mistake, you potentially jeopardize your dream job. To make matters worse, preparing for these types of interviews is the most mind-numbing and brain-dead task. Grinding through hours of lead code, solving as many problems as possible, even going through a glass door to find out exactly what questions you can expect to make your life a little bit easier. But there is a way to master technical interviews. The first step in solving a problem is taking the time to fully understand it. This means you should ask questions to clarify exactly what the problem is and what specific requirements are. By narrowing down the requirement, the problem becomes less complex and easier to solve. Think of it as breaking down a big, complicated problem into smaller, manageable parts. This way, you're not overwhelmed with the whole situation and can tackle each part one at a time. During a technical interview, it's important to start by finding a simple solution to the problem you're given. Even if it might not be the most efficient in terms of time or space, don't worry about finding the perfect solution right away. Instead, focus on understanding the problem and solving it in an easy way. Once you've found a basic solution, you can check with your interviewers to see if they want you to find a more efficient solution. This is important because sometimes the simplest solution might be the only one that works. These instances are not common, but they do happen. So before you spend a lot of time trying to perfect your solution, make sure that a more efficient solution is actually possible. This way, you won't waste your time trying to find something that doesn't exist. It's better to clarify this with your interviewer early on in the process. When working on improving or optimizing a solution, it's really beneficial to try and spot common themes or patterns. This is because most coding tests or assessments are not entirely new or distinctive problems. Rather, they're usually a variation of problems that already exist. Interviewers typically don't have the resources or time to create a completely new question for each candidate. Instead, they often reuse the same questions but with slight modifications or twists. As you practice more problems on platforms like Lead Code, you'll start to notice these recurring themes or patterns. These patterns are often rooted in the most frequently used data structures and algorithms. So the more you practice, the more familiar you become with these common structures and algorithms, and the better you get at quickly identifying and applying them to solve the problem at hand. Essentially, seeing frequent patterns can help you become more efficient at problem solving during technical interviews. It's like having a toolbox of solutions that you've seen and practiced before, and you can choose the most appropriate tool for the problem at hand. When you're in the process of optimizing your solution, it's really helpful to think out loud. This approach can benefit you in two major ways. The second reason is really important. First, it showcases your ability to tackle challenging problems in a systematic and thoughtful manner. By verbalizing your thought process, you're giving the interviewer a chance to follow along with your methods and understand how you're approaching the problem. The second, less obvious reason, speaking out loud is a way to seek input and collaboration from your interviewer. Remember that the interviewer is not just an evaluator, but also a resource. They are there to help guide you through the process. So don't hesitate to involve them into your problem solving journey. They're also evaluating your ability to work in a team and showing that you can collaborate effectively. It's just as important as demonstrating your technical skills. If you try to solve the problem entirely on your own without any input from the interviewer, you may miss out on valuable insights or feedback. Plus, you'd have to be an exceptionally skilled programmer to be able to, be able to tackle every problem flawlessly on your own. Don't shy away from using resources available to you, including your interviewer's expertise. I have a comprehensive digital guide that goes deep in detail on how to ace your technical interviews. This guide is strategically designed to deliver you exactly what you need. No fluff, no BS, just pure value. For the price of a few coffees, you can use it to land jobs that are going to pay you over two, 300K a year. Links in the description, definitely check it out.